Hello and welcome to Vector Thoughts Plus. My name is Martin Perhiniak, and in this video I'm going to show you a couple of great new features of InDesign CC. I'm going to talk about the changes in the interface and how the new document preview can help you to work much more efficiently. So first of all, there's a couple of things that you might not notice, but it's actually been changed since the previous version. And I'm going to switch back and forth between CS6 and CC. And uh, you will see that some of the icons have been redrawn completely. So like the panel icons here on the right, keep an eye out for them. If I change to InDesign CS6, this is how they look like. And this is InDesign CC once again before and after. Generally speaking, they made them more simple, which is great. Usually less is more uh, in design, and that's what these icons are following, as I can tell. It's much easier to see what's happening uh, with these tools. Also, in the toolbar, if we have a look at CS6, some of the icons like these here at the bottom are quite small, tiny, it's hard to see what they do, while if we change to CC, we can see them nicely, much more clear. And also similar tools like the rectangle frame tool and rectangle tool now looks more different and it tells us that the rectangle frame tool is empty, uh, while if we go back to CS6, it's quite hard to tell the difference between them. So minor changes in the interface like this can uh, improve a lot in understanding what's happening whenever you use these features. But the bigger change is that now we can change the colors or brightness of the interface as well. Just like in Photoshop and Illustrator CS6, now here in CC we can do the same thing for InDesign. So if I go to the preferences and choose interface, there I can change the color theme. And the great thing is that we can actually use a percentage so we can be very accurate with what uh, color we want for our interface. Or we can use any of these uh, presets. So that's light. We can choose medium light, medium dark, and dark. And we can also use custom. If you use match pasteboard to theme color, then you will be able to also change the pasteboard color. That's also something that you can only see if you are in normal view. So if I press W, then we will see the pasteboard. Like this image here is on the pasteboard. And if I go back by pressing Command or Control K to the preferences, I can see what's happening with my pasteboard. If I check match pasteboard to theme color and start changing it, you will see even the pasteboard uh, will follow the changes of the interface. I actually prefer to use the medium dark, so I'm going to keep it on this and I will click on OK. So now as you can see, even the pasteboards are darker and the whole interface will look very similar to Photoshop and Illustrator. There are also two main improvements that it is hard to see, they are under the hood. Uh, one of them is that now InDesign works with Retina display and high uh, DPI displays. So that's something that you can imagine, it's quite hard to show. But here is an example where you will see that normal screen would lo look like this. And with a high DPI display or a Retina display, you will see much more details on the same part of your design. So that's one thing, and the 64-bit allows us to have much better performance. So it's especially when you are saving PDFs, will help you a lot, so it will save you time. Especially if you save several or multiple PDFs at the same time. But there is another great feature which is much easier to show you, and that is the preview for new documents. If I go to the File menu and choose New Document, we will get the dialog box that we are familiar with, and we have all the options as before, but we also have a preview option at the bottom. And that's the interesting thing. Once I check that option, I will get a preview of my new document. So even before I create this new document, I can already see what's happening in this document based on the settings that I use here. So for example, if I increase the number of columns uh, for the whole document, I can already see that happening in the background. If I increase the size of the width, let's just say to 250 millimeters, I will immediately see that the document will update in the background. 
If I'm not sure about any of these options, now with these features, it's much easier to learn about them. So like increasing the bleed, I will see the changes all live. I can also add the slug and uh, set them to be linked to, to each other and that will add again another additional area. So much more interactive, much easier to use, especially for new users of InDesign will find this feature very useful. So generally we can see there has been a lot of changes on the interface and uh, with the new document preview, we can work much more efficiently. But if you're interested to learn about other new features of InDesign CC, make sure you check the other videos that we are going to publish here on Vector Tuts Plus. Thanks a lot for your attention and see you next time.